A very good afternoon to the viewers at home. We are coming to you from Kokama municipality uh, here in Kariedo. This is where Patriotic Alliance is handing in a petition to the IEC and also the municipality um, here at Kokama and their, uh, their grievances and also objecting the results of the by-elections that were held on the 14th of June at Ward 5. They are making allegations that there was a fraud um, which occurred at that moment and the IEC has since rejected the objection um, of the Patriotic Alliance and the party has uh, intended or did say that they are intending to go to the electoral court to voice out uh, their concerns and also their grievances and them not being happy with the decision taken by the IEC. But I've got um, the candidate of the Patriotic Alliance, uh, Mr. Lloyd, who was vying for that uh, councillor position and he lost to the councillor of the ANC just to hear more of what are the reasons for them to object this um, uh, these outcomes as they say they are not uh, recognizing the ANC uh, councillor here in the ward. Uh, Mr. Lloyd, thank you very much for your time. Firstly, just briefly, um, the reasons for the objection of the results on the by-elections. Okay, thank you very much for the opportunity. Let me start by saying that we would not have been here if it wasn't for an anonymous, anonymous phone call a day after the election that I received from one of the ANC members informing me about the electoral, the proposed uh, electoral fraud. And um, once we started our launching our own investigation and we came across witnesses that made uh, statements um, under oath of they have also been partaking in this uh, electoral fraud. We obviously objected within the prescribed time as per the Electoral Act and the IEC took the time to come back with uh, outcome, written out outcome on our objection. But when we eventually received it uh, two days ago, it was not in our favour. They decided to reject and hence that is why we felt strong that we must not let go and lay down and um, let this uh, be like the end of, of this possible electoral fraud. So we've decided to, to come and give our petition to the IEC office as well as the municipality and we made certain demands in that uh, petitions. Mm -hmm. In its response the IEC says firstly the complaint uh, or rather uh, the objection was raised very late and you guys have signed uh, the results to accept the results which were uh, of the by-elections and also uh, that they are going to investigate the matter and you are saying you are going to take it to the Labour Court, I mean to the Electoral Court. Yes, we will definitely go to the Electoral Court. As for the IEC's claim that we submitted late, if you go to the Electoral Act, it says that after by-election, objecting party has two days, 48 hours to object. Now, our objection went in on the 16th. If the by-election happened on the 14th, it means we were in, within the prescribed time. Uh, the 16th was unfortunately a public holiday. But the Electoral Act doesn't state if one of the two days that you have after by-elections to object, that if one of the two days is a public holiday, then there's only one day. It, the Electoral Act doesn't say that. So we, sub, we submitted it in this prescribed time, and the, present, the Provincial Electoral Officer, Kaya Kaya she uh, acknowledged our objection in, on the 18th of, of June in a media statement as well to the SABC. So we were definitely within the prescribed time. Mm -hmm. The IEC was also saying that in any way, even if they were to subtract the votes that you were contesting, still the ANC would have won. I, I would understand for them making that argument, but this comes back to when was this electoral fraud planned? It was planned well before the by-election of the 14th because these addresses were changed online. And unfortunately, this is a watershedding moment event for so many reasons because there's a, this fraud has, has put the spotlight on a, a flaw in the IEC system, on the online system, whereby if you want to change, if you want to change your address from one ward to another ward, you just go online and you change your address. Nowhere online is they asking for any supporting documents in the form of a of a municipal account not older than three months or Jet or Edgar's account not older than three months. So everyone can just change their addresses. So. Yes, we, we signed the results on, on the election day because we were not aware of the electoral fraud by then. We were only made, unfortunately, we were only made aver, uh, aware of the fraud a day after the election. And coming back to the electoral act, it's, it's, it's very clear. The electoral will, act will guide this process. And we, as the Patriotic Alliance, we, we feel very strong that we will win this case because the evidence spoke for themselves. And even the letter that we received from the IEC uh, stating reasons why they reject, there's so many contradictory statements in that, in that letter as well.